Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. CRISPR-Cas9 technology. Now this should really excite you, it excites me. The whole idea of immunosuppression not being used in a system where they go in, reprogram the cells in your body, take them out, re-engineer them, and put them back in your body, and no need for immunosuppression. This sounds like something very futuristic, but it's here now. We've got the whole story. Hit the like and subscribe button. My name is Jim. Welcome back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Let's get into this right now. It's an exciting story and you're going to love it. Will VCTX 2 lm from CRISPR Therapeutics accelerate the cure for type 1 diabetes? Sponsor, CRISPR Therapeutics AG, headquartered in Zug, Switzerland, with R&D operations in Boston, Massachusetts, and San Francisco. Trial sites. The active phase one half trial is currently underway in Canada under clearance from Health Canada, Juvenile Diabetes Cure Alliance. Phase, combination phase one half, evaluating both safety and preliminary efficacy. Participants, up to 40 adults with T1D. As of early 2023, enrollment and dosing were ongoing. Wow, that's great. But what exactly is CRISPR technology and how does it work? CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. It is a genome editing technology that enables scientists to alter DNA in living organisms precisely. It's fast, efficient, and relatively easy to use, which is why it has revolutionized genetic engineering and biomedical research. CRISPR is a natural defense system found in bacteria. It helps bacteria fight off viruses by storing bits of viral DNA and using them to recognize and destroy the virus if it returns. Scientists adapted this system to edit genes in other organisms, including humans. The most commonly used version is CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR is the system that identifies where to cut. Cas9 is an enzyme, a kind of molecular scissors, that makes the actual cut in the DNA. Scientists create a short piece of RNA that matches the DNA sequence they want to edit. This guide RNA leads Cas9 to the exact spot in the genome. Cas9 enzyme makes a cut Cas9 follows the guide RNA to the target DNA and cuts both strands of DNA at that location. Cell repairs the DNA. The cell tries to fix the break using one of two mechanisms. Gene therapy. Correcting faulty genes in people with inherited diseases. Key features. Uses allogeneic CRISPR-Cas9 edited stem cell derived P211 cells. Cells are loaded into a durable, retrievable, encapsulated implant. Designed to function without the need for systemic immunosuppression. Recruitment and dosing, actively ongoing in Canada as of early 2023. Estimated primary completion around April 2025, with full trial completion, likely later in 2025. What does this mean? CRISPR Therapeutics is leading one of the first ever clinical trials of a gene-edited, immunovasive, stem cell-based therapy aimed at treating type 1 diabetes without lifelong immunosuppression, a potential breakthrough in T1D cure research. When will it come to market? Bringing CRISPR Therapeutics CTX211, formerly VCX211, to market as a functional cure for type 1 diabetes, T1D, will take several more years. Here's a realistic step-by-step -step roadmap based on typical drug development timelines and what's known as of mid-2025. Key steps to market approval. 1. Phase 1 half-trial completion. Ongoing in Canada with 40 participants. Goals, safety, immune evasion, engraftment, and early signs of insulin independence. Interim results could emerge in late 2025. If positive, CRISPR would begin phase three trial planning. Two, phase three trial, pivotal efficacy study required to prove effectiveness and safety in a larger population, likely 100 to 300 plus patients across multiple international sites. Three regulatory review, FDA, EMA, Health Canada. Review time, 9 to 12 months, sometimes expedited for breakthrough therapies. 4. Commercialization. If approved, CTX211 would be the first gene-edited, immune-evasive, stem cell-based islet therapy on the market. This would be a historic first, a cell-based, immune-evasive therapy 
that offers insulin independence without immunosuppression. This channel has followed this technology for some time. We will continue to report updates to our viewers. Jim. Okay, VCTX by CRISPR Therapeutics. Now, you want to remember that because we're going to cover this one extensively. I could not wait to put this together. We've done some reporting on this in the past, but it's really moving along. And what I just love about this is obviously no immunosuppression would be tremendous. But we talk a lot about different technologies from cell pouches to reprogramming cells in the body. Uh, this leans toward the latter, reprogramming them, reinserting them in your body, and shielding from the immune attack. Now, what is so wonderful about this technology is this can be used for many ailments, including cancer. So, I'm excited about this one. This is probably in our top three or four as far as interest and excitement. And you know, it could be commercialized by 2029 or 2030. They're moving that quickly. So I think this is something to be very excited about. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts on these subjects. So leave a comment. And thank you so much for joining us today here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. We'll have another exciting video for you here very soon. Until then, take care of those blood sugars. Be well, and we'll talk again soon.